And so, here we have a merge request in GNOME settings, to allow users logins without passwords. That comes from Leeds who is a developer at Endless. These patches are already on Endless OS, and there are things like phrase reminders, but not only. And I'll come back to that in a bit. Next there is this design issue by Alan Day, about the default arrangement of applications on Shell Grid. Then there is the relevant art. Which is actually the only relevant art we need, and obviously is from iOS. Just in case you're still wondering how GNOME design happens. And so, iOS on the front page has the Books app. And so, GNOME naturally added Books on front page too. Only there is this tiny problem. So in the end Alan is wondering. Oh, and does books even work? To be honest there is nothing more normal in this pointless world, than a lead project designer having no idea if the core apps actually work. Anyway, I will go back to the original issue. And on the very end lead says. People forgetting their passwords is the most frequent user support in Endless. So like a baby Alan Day, I'm wondering in my turn. Oh! Does Endless OS even have users? <laughs> and next I want to tell you a real story that happened to me. So, I remember it was tomorrow evening. I was sitting completely carefree on my precious Endless box, and I was running some diagnostics. But it was when I opened the logs, when my whole world fell apart. Meanwhile the screen lock was activated, and from the hit on my head, I got amnesia and I couldn't remember my password. It is the most common condition among imaginary Endless OS users. But Endless developers are aware, so next I want to show you some of the downstream patches, that may or may not arrive in GNOME. The first and the most important patch is the shared accounts, which is pretty much guest logins. And that's something that GNOME wants to implement. But it is beyond that point, all the weirdness is coming. So assume we have forgot our password, and let me make that visible for extra transparency. Now if we enter a wrong password, we'll get a show password hint option, that we had set previously on account creation. In this case is my usual. And if you consider password hints weird in 2020, you haven't seen anything yet. So if the password phrase wasn't helpful enough, we have a forgot password option. If we click on that, we get a message to open Endless Reset Password page, and insert a 7 digits code, that will return us an unlock code to reset our password. On this web page, I have logged in with my Google and not with some Endless account, and it is completely irrelevant with the actual system. Meaning I haven't set up any online accounts on Endless OS. I don't think it is even possible anyway. So I added the 7 digits, and now it returns me the unlock password. I'm going to copy this, and paste it back to lock screen. If we press enter, it will ask for a new password, and again I will make that visible for the transparency, and then I'll put 4 alphas. Retype new password, and 4 alphas again. Next it asks for a password reminder, and I tell 4 times A. And basically that was everything. We can actually log in. So it is either we can virtually unlock every endless desktop like that, or I'm missing something. In any case before I say something very wrong, I better ask on endless forums. Or if you know already, can you please tell me what the fuck just happened? <laughs>